Hi lovelies. So as promised, um, and it arrived so quickly, I think Shinny sent it yesterday, here is a journal from the lovely Rochelle. Um, I did say in my video yesterday, if you caught that, that she's quite new to showing her work and even more nervous than I am and um, I've got anxiety. So I think it's absolutely beautiful work just by looking at the cover and she did do a quick flip through um, on my Facebook page so that we could see um, which was really big for her and it's just stunning. I have not opened it yet but this is the first time I've seen it in person. Uh, I have seen a little video like I said but this is going to be new as new to me as it is to you. Completely different style to me like I said um, but I think that's why I admire journals so much that are so different from mine because for some reason I think you get into a style and that's just the style that you do and um, Rochelle actually said that's the same as hers that no matter how hard she tries this is her style and as much as I'd love to do one that looks just like this it's that's why I, I admire it and just looking at the cover I'm tempted to buy this one myself as my first journal but I won't I will I will leave it up um, because I think it would mean more to her if it goes uh, to someone else that she doesn't know so by the look of it um, we've got a brown ribbon to hold the journal together um, like me a beautiful crocodile mouth oh look at all that goodness <laughs> I just love it um, I don't think there's anything wrong with stuffing a journal full we've got some um, fussy cut flowers on the front here that's so nice and textural a couple of little book corners um, love with all your heart that's very cute. Some beautiful brown lace here. A little uh, metal detail there. Gorgeous tassel that she's made on the side. Look at that. Just these colours put together are stunning. That's one of the most different things, I think, between her and I. And look at that beautiful rose on the back. Looks like it's all been uh, modge podged to protect it as well. <gasps> okay, let's open her up and see what she looks like. So that's very similar to the, the back print, isn't it? And then over here, what have we got? We've got a little tag. You could do some journaling space on there. This is like Christmas. This is like opening something up for Christmas. Got some different collaged papers there and a little bit of see-through vellum or plastic. Some gorgeous tapestry upholstery fabric looking there that's been sewn on. Now I'm going to have to put these bits back. Not like my journals because I'm not going to know where they go unless I keep re-watching the video. Oh look at all the goodies. Look at that. bit of journaling space there. Three pockets by the looks. One, two, three. I better put that one back in there because like I say I'm not going to remember where to put them. And I will show you all the little details because they're gorgeous. What does that say? Always take the scenic route. I love it. A little bit of a cotton applique there, rose, some pearls. I wonder what book these are from. I feel like I've got one similar. Seed packet. Gosh, the, the thing that is similar to my journals is um, there is a lot of work in these. And this one, she has got another one as well, so I will go through that at another time and post that for you as well. Ooh, little goodies in there. This is so good for my ideas as well. And I know she um, waxes. I wonder if that's what she's done there. She showed us how to wax tissue paper uh, to make it more durable. And then it goes see-through. And she's done it with all sorts of different papers. Uh, so that might be what that is there. Oh, I wonder what fabric that is. So textural. We know, if we know me, we know I love textural things butterfly blah, blah, butterfly 
Look, even the shape of these pocket tucks. Just so cute. Ooh, is there anything in there? Oh, there is. I'm sorry, Rochelle, in advance if I miss something. Looks like just a little mushroom. Oh, I don't want to risk getting that out. There it is. This is my first exploration, and you will know that if you have bought journals, every time you seem to go through them, uh, you find something else that you missed the first time. That, I can tell, is that waxed paper. And it looks like she might have stamped that, and it's pattern paper. Little decoupage of waxed paper there. Some lovely journal space. I feel like this is, um, I don't know why, but I've got quite a few books that are um, Auckland as a garden and New Zealand as a garden. And I've done so many books in that series. I feel like that might be, see look, just a little bit of fabric there with a staple. It's not something that I do. Gosh, this is going to give me so many ideas. <laughs> Darling, you are a work of art. <laughs> so cute. so many little spots to write I don't know how she could not be confident in these journals this is absolutely stunning and so many pages what have we got over here I just love these rustic shaped pockets rather than having to be square all the time little cluster up here I hope all these are staying in focus. I'm having a little bit of problems. It's gorgeous. See, I don't use glossy, but that is stunning. I like that. I'm having a bit of a problem with my camera deciding to focus only when it wants to. Writing space, writing space. That looks like hand dyed paper, for sure. What have we got up here? Is that a hidden paper clip? I feel like it is. See, this is the, the problem. Yes, it is. <laughs> I didn't break anything, don't worry. A bit of paper there. That's a good idea to tuck the paper under there. Sometimes they can be hard to put on if they're the same either side. Beautiful. Look at all the little details. See, this is this is what this is what is my style about this journal is I can't leave lots and lots and lots and lots of pages just blank. Even just a little detail makes such a huge difference, I think, for the person who's buying it. I mean, if it's a journal, you don't really need a whole page to write on. It's quite nice to be able to write around shapes and things. I think stunning I told her about all the lovely comments that I get on YouTube and I promised her that you guys are so lovely and so kind and she doesn't need to worry about whether people will like her work but I know comments um, from you guys will mean the absolute world to her so please feel free to give you um, give her some feedback on her beautiful journal. Oh, look at that. And then even if you have got blank pages, she's included little parcels of lots of bits and pieces that you can use to add to the journal. I love that. That's cute. What a cute little idea. This is that waxed paper. See how see-through it is? So if, I, if, if you're interested in seeing how she does that, um, I'm happy to ask her for a tutorial or I will do one uh, and I will show, show you how to do that with credit to her because I have done some of that in one of my journals. Look at that pattern paper that's sturdy enough to sew into and that's because she's waxed that that's amazing 
Oh my gosh, guys, I'm so tempted to keep this myself. Oh, I know where that's from. I bet you guys do too. So we've got one. One, two. Little bits of paper that you could add clusters to. See, so even the blank pages that she has left with nothing much on them. You've got plenty of bit, little bits and pieces in here. To add your own yes I know where that's from so this is a little four pocket page this is a bit cute so many goodies getting so carried away now she did say there were two black and white postcards uh, that were from World War II uh, that might be one because there is a complete another journal so I'm not entirely sure but that does feel and look vintage to me and she said it was from Italy and from World War II Look, mini books. Oh, we know I love mini books. Oh, that's adorable. Absolutely adorable. I wonder where this is from, too. Oh, so many goodies. Goodness. Oh, that's pretty. I love embossing scrapbooking paper and digitals. Just makes them look so different. So many little details, Rochelle. You're so talented. My goodness. The few pages you showed us just did not do this journal justice. There's one thing about seeing flip throughs, I think. It's a completely another thing. Oh, wow. To actually go through one and thumb through somebody else's beautiful work. And I've got to say, this is my first time ever going through somebody else's beautiful work and oh, I get why I get why people buy journals now <laughs> I'm gonna have to get her to make me one see I really love that I always thought I didn't like glossy paper but I think when it's just amongst the others I really like it see yes it must be this journal and this must be because that is Italian I take it I'm no expert so these must be genuine, this one and the other one from, so World War II. Oh, my history's not good. Is that 1940-ish? Oh, you could put a little label in there. Ooh, look at these goodies. Oh, that's cute. Oh, this journal's just full of treasures. And it's got so much detail, and yet, there's still so many pages in it. I've got to say, this journal would be less thick than my journals, but I would say it's got twice the amount of pages in there than mine do, just because mine end up so thick with all the extra windows and acetates and... What have we got here? you come out what comes out that comes out oh, and she did say something about wallpaper as well ah there we go that must be hand dyed paper again lots of hand dyed papers in here by the looks of you I smile a whole lot more Mwah. honestly guys whoever takes this journal out of my clutches <laughs> I've got to say you are so lucky you'll absolutely enjoy playing around and going through this journal and finding something new every time I bet there's just I don't know how she fits all of this in friends are special treasures of the heart oh I hope I'm doing this beautiful journal justice but better for it to be seen with my faffing, then not seen at all, I think. So I am just going to keep going. <laughs> oh, 
little paper clips with the little bits of ribbon. I just love the colour combination as well. I've always been like that. I like my mum's an oil painter and I admire her. Oh, mini book! I admire her painting because I'm not an oil painter and I guess I've always been like that. If if it's a style of something that I do, either painting some more of a watercolour or acrylic, that's what I admire. I think you admire what you don't do. All of these must be hand dyed. There's just so much respect for writing space in here and yet so much detail. That's a little hidden paper clip but I won't take that off. It just keeps going. I mean, we're not even halfway through, guys. This is just insane. I just don't understand how she fits all of this in. Pretty little envelope. And Rochelle, I'm sorry in advance if I put these on the wrong way. Oh. Little key on there. This is an awful lot of work, guys. Oh my gosh. Let us know in the comments if you want to see more from Rochelle. I will try and convince her to do it herself because she would know and be able to explain, yes, that's stenciled. Uh, that's not something that I can do. But if she won't, I promise I'll keep doing it for her because this is fun. <laughs> this is like Christmas. Fall in love. Look, this is, this is only the centre of the signature now after all of that. I cannot believe how she fits all of that in. You can tell when people love doing what they do, don't you? Little accordion. Look at all that writing space. And somehow it folds up so small and fits in here. Ooh, I better pop that one back before I forget where it went. That must be more hand dyed paper. That's pretty. That's really pretty. Oh, and I like how that orange rose fits beautifully. Gosh, that paper's pretty. I wonder where that's from. See, lots of bits and pieces that you could leave as is, or you could use them. To just decorate a page like you stick that on somewhere and that could be where you journal space into just that part on the page I would love to know how long this one's taken you to make Rochelle this is insane Just little bits of paper to use, just tucked in everywhere. A wax seal, look at that. That's got to be genuine as well. Now, she did send me a couple of books bless her and she did say in the card that they were from Edith Cotton which are these guys so I'm wondering if that piece of paper that I just uh, maybe not but it did look genuine didn't it You, you could spend hours looking through this and the next time you looked at it you'd, you'd look at it again like you've never seen it before she said there's a magnetic 
knitted notebook I think that was the one that we passed a while ago Aww, little owl look out owl with four leaf clover oh that's interesting I haven't seen that done before there's a new idea let me know if you've seen that done before because I haven't that's clever because quite often things slide out of there huh oh, for a shell that's cool just the effort and time that went into making that one piece just that one piece can you guys imagine this journal this is insane look at that that is such a good idea I am gonna steal that one Rochelle such a good idea uh-huh black and white postcard okay so that must definitely be what she's talking about with the 1940s genuine postcard you could ask her questions below though as well if you like uh, I'm sure she will be watching them and reading them and keen to see what you guys think about her stunning work Okay, so see, look, we make that, that sewing and everything, it's got little bits stuck onto it, we've got lace on here, we've got another little photo card there, this is a scrappy note, notebook, so how long does this take just to make this, like half an hour to an hour, oh now I'm talking too much, I can't remember where that went, I'm hoping it went up there, and this is one page, and I will count the pages and I will put it in the description below because that needs to be said because this is this is taking forever to get through so there must be a lot of pages oh, just incredible another little pile of goodies to do what you want with there that's got to be genuine I cannot see the date on that though New Zealand <laughs> oh we're finally nearing the end I wonder how many pages it is I'm gonna have to count that oh I wonder where that's from that's from a book what a cute book be Asian. Is that Chinese, Japanese art? More hand dyed paper. Hmm. And genuine bits of junk. I feel like that might be from packaging or something but I could be wrong I love this paper love it oh, all the bits of pieces she has been doing this for years she said oh aren't you pretty steampunk going on there and that is it that is the end of the beautiful beautiful journal by Rochelle look how many pages are there I would say she's closest to an A5 which is half of an A4 and whoever buys her I, I hope you cherish it because she is absolutely stunning I don't get anything out of this I just wanted to do this for my friend who deserves to have her work be seen um, as you can see this this just simply needs to be shared either for you guys to get ideas or if you would like to purchase it I will put the Etsy link in the description below as well for it uh, but it, it's just beautiful absolutely beautiful so I hope you enjoyed watching this flip through of Rochelle's journal 
I really hope, please, please, please put a little comment below um, for her about what you think of it. I know she will absolutely love every single one of the comments and she does need a little bit of a pepping up. But yeah, just stunning. Absolutely stunning. Okay, so I will be back with a second journal of hers as soon as I can. Uh, but we'll see how this one goes because we don't want don't want too many comments at once for her to read. She won't be able to keep up. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching this from my lovely friend, and I hope I did it justice. You guys have a great day. Bye.